Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Monday, August the 3rd. I hope you had a good weekend and were able to stay cool. Uh, some news, and I'll try to keep it kind of brief today. Uh, first of all, just let you know that uh, there is a new commissioner for the Department of Human Services, the agency to which we are administratively attached, and I had the pleasure of, of meeting the new commissioner. Her name is Robin Crittenton. I had, I had a meeting with her last Thursday, very supportive of GVRA, being an independent agency and just a very, uh, very nice person. A uh, couple th other things uh, in terms of new staff. Uh, there's a couple new staff at the governor's office. I'll be having my first meeting with them this Wednesday. Uh, a man named David Warner is the governor's new chief operating officer and a man named Travis Johnson, uh, the deputy chief operating officer for the governor's office. So I'll be meeting with both David and Travis uh, Wednesday to give them an overview and an introduction to GVRA. Uh, you may have seen this in uh, the daily update, but we also have two new board members that were recently appointed by Governor Deal. Uh, the first is a gentleman named uh, Vincent Martin. Uh, my understanding, I haven't met Vincent yet, but that he is uh, an individual who is blind, that he's uh, either a student or works at Georgia Tech, and he is uh, taking Marcia Farrow's place on the board. And then the other new board member is Tom Wilson. And a lot of you who work in VR and have worked there for a while may know Tom. Tom retired from VR several years ago. He's been the president of the National Rehabilitation Association, understands rehab is a great, is a great guy, and so we're thrilled for both the addition of Vincent and Tom. Uh, this morning we actually started our new uh, orientation for the agency and uh, this is something we're trying to get people to come here first to Atlanta to get a two-day introduction to the family of GVRA to learn all the details. I'm sure when they go back to their individual program they'll get a unique orientation to that specific program but we thought it was important to really give people a, a very positive welcome to the agency at large and it was a good group this morning it appears that we may have had about I don't know 12 to 15 new employees for the agency most of the programs were represented and so we'll get some feedback on how this new orientation has gone. And then finally, I'd like to announce that uh, we were successful in uh, having our WIPA grant actually renewed. Uh, WIPA, for those of you who don't know, and I've got my little cheat sheet here, stands for Work Incentive Planning and Assistance. We used to have what were called CWICs and now they are called WINS, W-I-N. Work Incentives Navigator, and with this new grant, our service area has actually grown to 119 counties across the state. We share the state with the Shepherd Center here in Atlanta. They have the remaining counties, and, and we provide uh, benefit uh, navigation and assistance to individuals. So that's the news for today. I hope you have a great day and a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.